we have three ducks. Well, technically we have one duck and two drakes. The problem is, one drake is an obnoxious bully. He picks on everyone else in the poultry run, the hens and the geese and the cockerel, and he makes their lives miserable. We have to do something about him, but we want to keep the other drake, who looks almost exactly the same. I think it's the one with the curly tail that isn't quite as curly as the other curly tailed one. Okay. The trouble is, obnoxious drake is not stupid and he's proving difficult to catch. Really going for it. So I thought I'd better make some sort of duck trap, and this is what I came up with. I used some string and two willow sticks and one of the hula hoops I made last year from plastic pipe. As well. <laughs> There's fruit netting tied to the hula hoop, turning it into a big net. That's tied to one end of a long pole sits in a fork in a short upright pole. The string goes through a broken caster wheel. One end's tied to the pole and the other end is held onto by the duck trap operator, me. So after a couple of tests in the garden, I set the whole thing up in the poultry run. and baited the trap with chicken food. I put our GoPro camera on a nearby stone too to catch the action if anything happened. And someone was very interested in it. Nothing much happened for a while, except one of the rabbits came by to have a look. And the geese had a look. And then the two drakes came up, suspiciously. The duck was away sitting on her nest at the time. The drakes wanted the food, but they were wary about getting inside the hula hoop. I told you they were smart. Eventually, they were both inside and I pulled the rope and the rope broke. It actually broke in half. Perhaps I pulled too hard, I don't know. But just in time, I grabbed the end of the pole before they both escaped and finished lifting the net. Luckily, the drake inside was the one I was after. His bullying days are over. So now, Mr. Drake, what are we going to do with you? In the pot? Or what? Hmm?